hello guys now we are going to create the product applications using android studio you know to create the product application using android studio first what we need to do we need to download the android studio so let's do that go to get started okay now here again you need to take a choice where you are a window user click on the user if you are a mac user click on the mac if you are a linux user click on the linux now I am going to install the flutter on windows so I am clicking on windows yes. this is the entire detail process that the google have created for us in order to download the android studio application and integrate the sdk this is the detail process so now let's go through it very quickly in order to run the flutter application in your windows you need to have 64 bit laptop minimum windows 7 okay this is a disk space 400 mb i hope that everyone will have this and the git you need to download the git i'm going to show how to do it in the next couple of tutorials and now we are going to install the android studio in order to get started go down guys installation process of an android studio you can find something right here and download the android studio click on this you will be redirected to the android studio page developers.android.com slash studio this is the url we just came here right now now you need to download android studio here just click on it agree the terms and conditions and click on the download i already have the android studio in my os so i'm not going to download it but you just click on the download and download the exe file after downloading the exe file just try to install the exe file as the general software is the way that you used to install okay guys see you soon it will it may take some time hello guys i hope everyone have installed the android studio in your windows or maybe mac or maybe in linux right now so after installing the android studio in your os just click on this icon you may find this icon on your desktop or you may also search for it at here for windows users especially android should register you can find android studio you can also open like this okay just open this tool initially your screen will appear like this but you may not see this start a new flutter project here okay so in order to see start a new flutter project here in your android studio you need to do some configuration in order to do such kind of configuration you need to go to configure here click on configure click on plugins type flutter but guys you can see flutter here in my os because i have already integrated flutter with my android studio but you may not integrate that your flutter with your android studio you know how to do that click on browse reciprocities okay fine this is your flutter you may see this screen okay instead of this updated you will find something like install in your laptop click on install after installing it will ask you to restart your android studio please do that and see you soon okay guys i hope that everyone have installed the flutter using configuration and you have done your restart to your android studio now you can see something like start a new flutter project but don't click on it just be wait for a few minutes because we need to do few more configurations in order to get started just go back to the page scroll down you can see something like get flutter sdk click on this after clicking on this your page will download the flutter windows version 0.3.2 beta dot zip okay guys please download this it may take some time i'll see you soon hello guys i hope that you have downloaded this file okay you just place this file in any of your folder in my case i have placed this file in my f drive 
Flutter SDK is my folder and this is my WinDrive file. After unzipping, you can see something like this here. Just click on it. This is a Flutter. Okay, copy this path. This is your Flutter SDK path. Just copy this and go here. Click on Start New Flutter Project. Flutter application. Select Next and name something for your post project app and later here you may find this field as empty in your case in order to provide a flutter sdk path so what are the path just now we have copied it there you just paste the path here this is your flutter sdk path this is your flutter sdk path just copy this path here okay and choose some location where you would like to save your flooded projects and if you want to give some description to your project you are always welcome to give i'm giving hello flutter click next sorry i would like to give you something like let's give hello Flutter. Is valid dot package name. Okay, hello okay, Flutter may be a valid dot package name. It should start with small. Hello. Hello Flutter. Now it's okay. If you have any problem at that, it will show something to you in red color at down. Okay. Come into a component domain name. If you have any component domain name, you just give it. If you don't have it, just give it as example.com or maybe something. It's not a big deal when you are launching something or your application in the Play Store. You can change your component domain name, but now let it be like example.com. Or if you want to give something, you just go ahead and give it. No props. Okay, don't check these two buttons. We don't need this at present. Don't check it. Finish. Guys, it may take some time. Please be patient. Guys, I hope your installation process is still going on. I mean, that your first application process. Okay. Please don't waste time, and we can do a few more works here. Let it be. The industry will do its job, and we have one more job to do. So, just check this guys, go to control panel, here, go to advanced system settings, select environmental variable, ok, click on path, new, sorry, sorry edit okay guys I have already added my flutter path here but you need to add it click on new go back go to your flutter SDK just now we came here and click on bin now this is your path copy this path and paste it here guys click on new paste or rather click ok your amount variable is going to set next click ok ok and close this guys we don't have anything to do with this right now next guys one more thing that you need to install is the git type git in your browser go to git website
Okay, guys, we had game almost here. Sorry, I think we have done something wrong. Just go back. Yeah, Git for Windows. Click on it. Yes, guys. Guys, if you are using the 32 bit windows, you need to download this. If you are using the 64 bit windows, you need to download this. If you are for Mac using Mac, you can find something like this. Okay, guys, if you are a Mac user, just go back, go to your install on Mac. You can find your git link here in this page. Just go down. You could be able to see. This is the process how to install the git as well as the the process to set the flutter SDK path. This is the entire flow. You need to go through this. Unfortunately, I'm not going to say about the Mac now. Because I'm a Windows user. So guys, download Git for Windows by clicking, clicking at here. So after, so after downloading Git, you need to install your Git exe file in your laptop. We are going to use this Git in future applications. So guys, just go back. Yeah, guys, just go back once and now click CMD in your. yeah now I think everyone got the command prompt here right before doing some stuff using the flutter just type flutter doctor it will give a small summary guys for you Okay, guys, you may see something like this. It will give you an Android Studio version and IntelliJ IDE. You may not find right now because I have not said teach you how to install the IntelliJ IDE in your Windows OS. At the same time, how to integrate your Flutter Doctor to your IntelliJ IDE. We have not spoken till now. In the next couple of tutorials, we are going to cover even that too. Coming to the com connected device you may see something like zero for you because I have not said about the Android virtual device till now so in next tutorial we are going to speak about the Android virtual device until then please subscribe to my channel love you guys